Mufinuranga. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I have a question for the Minister for Health. Will the government provide the same solution at Ardrossan Community Hospital that they did at Keith? And with you all leaving that in the House, I'll explain. Maybe sort of, granted. Member for Naranga. When the Keith and District Hospital, Community Hospital pardon me, shut, the government stepped in with almost $10 million to transfer it to an SA Health facility. Uh, Ardrossan Community Hospital is currently at its A&E shut temporarily and is hopeful of similar treatment. Minister. Thank you very much, sir, and I thank the member for Narunga for his question and his uh, significant advocacy on behalf of uh, residents for their health care on the York Peninsula. Um, and this uh, is an issue uh, in relation to the Ardrossan Community Hospital. For people who aren't aware, this is a uh, private hospital uh, in Ardrossan. Uh, it's one of what was a number of private community hospitals uh, based in uh, regional areas. And as the member uh, makes reference to, uh, the other very prominent version of that uh, was in the uh, member for McKillop's electorate uh, in Keith. Uh, and this government uh, has gone through a process in relation to uh, the Keith District Hospital, uh, whereby uh, it has now transitioned to be part of uh, SA Health and the Limestone Coast Local Health Network. Uh, that was a very significant uh, piece of work that the government undertook, working with the Local Health Network, working with uh, the Keith uh, Board. Uh, and working across government agencies uh, to enable that transition to happen a couple of months ago. And I thank the member for McKillop in that instance for his advocacy and support in relation to that transition. Um, we are aware that uh, the Ardrossan Community Hospital um, is uh, facing a number of difficulties. Uh, we have been providing uh, support to the hospital uh, that was started under the previous government and has continued under this government. Uh, we advised in the order of $180,000 uh, per year, which has been extended uh, to the uh, Ardrossan Hospital. Um, but we are certainly in discussions uh, with the hospital uh, and its board about uh, its ongoing operations and ongoing uh, viability. Uh, we uh, obviously want to make sure that there uh, is uh, community services, particularly health services, uh, readily available right across country South Australia. Uh, and uh, Ardrossan Community Hospital while its number of people who have been going there for hospital needs has been reducing, I'm advised, uh, in the order of approximately 60% of uh, separations over the past couple of years, uh, it still has a very significant uh, aged care uh, operation. And having been to the hospital, it has some million dollar views uh, outside uh, that hospital. And uh, we certainly want to work with the Ardrossan Community Board. Uh, those discussions are ongoing with the York and Northern Local Health Network uh, and the board, uh, and I'm very uh, happy uh, to make sure that we continue to keep the member uh, for Narunga up to date as that work and that those discussions progress. Uh, but I would uh, uh, say that the government is uh, open-minded to how we uh, resolve these issues, uh, but we are also mindful that uh, what happened in relation to uh, the Keith District Hospital was a uh, very long process that it took to enable uh, that solution to be uh, found and implemented. Uh, and so these things will take a significant amount of work uh, looking at it, all the options working with the local board.